Welcome to my packing video. I'm going to show you how to efficiently pack a suitcase. I am an organized psycho, so I've perfected it. I'm going to give you some of my little tips and tricks. You can thank me later. This trip that I'm packing for, we're going to Scottsdale, Arizona. Me and my girlfriends for my bachelorette party. So it's going to be like kind of tropical vibes. The Airbnb has a pool and we might go out to like some nice dinners and stuff. So you can take a personal bag and a carry-on. This carry-on's awesome because it has like this thing where you can hook it onto like your rolling suitcase. So when you're rolling around the airport, your bag doesn't come tumbling down. I used to be that girl, but it's not fun. My wallet is already in here. The camera and my camera strap. And I have these cute little masks because that's the world we're living in. Definitely gonna need those in Arizona. Fast charger to charge my phone if my phone dies in the airport. And then I'm gonna take my GoPro in my carry-on. I always take like my valuable things with me. I don't check them because that's sketchy. And then in this bag, I just have like everything that I would carry in my purse, like birth control, powder to touch up my shiny ass forehead, lip gloss, eye drops, perfume, allergy medicine. So that's just like everything that I put in my normal purse that we want to take. And then obviously like my phone and I always take a water bottle that's empty onto the airplane because you can fill it after you get through security. Definitely want to take some little shooters right now because they don't serve alcohol on the plane, but you can take it on. So we got the personal bag and then this is like the actual carry-on that can fit everything. Here comes the psycho part. So this is like my airport bag. I have wet wipes, little eye patches, I have some Lysol to mist the nasty people around me. And then I have tea bags. I have spiced espresso and sleepy time tea. So you can order just like hot water on the airplane depending on what time you're flying or what you need to do. I have earplugs, allergy medicine, melatonin, and Benadryl for if I really am trying to go to sleep. Sometimes you just need to sleep on the airplane. And then I have like these little iPads. So we have this bag in here. And then this is like a, just a cute little purse that I'm going to wear out there, but I don't want to check it. And then my tripod. And this is all the camera stuff. Put that in here too. Okay, so we're going to pack some jewelry. This little case is so awesome. You can put like your rings and your earrings and then I put bracelets here. I used to put necklaces but they get really tangled so I have this for necklaces and then you can put just like other stuff in here. Hoops, bracelets, this like leftover stuff from Sturgis and then I put like my little tiny earrings in here and put them like in the zipper. I always carry on my jewelry and my makeup in this bag because I'm not trying to check it. That's sketchy. I've packed all the jewelry that I'm going to take. These are all the necklaces that I'm going to take. This thing is awesome. I actually, Lou gave this to me. It's from Fred Myers. And then I have this other jewelry holder. These are like pretty much all the earrings and some bracelets, some more earrings. You just don't know what the vibes are going to be like until you get there. So take the most because it fits it all. So you just zip that up and we good to go. Okay, so here is all my makeup packed. And here we have the pencils. This, I used to put brushes in, but they get smashed. So I found this little nifty brush holder. And then you just put the top on like that and you snap it shut. And then when you're doing your makeup, you can like separate your eye brushes into this one and it's just super convenient so I will pack my makeup into my carry-on even if they throw it around it's okay because this makeup bag is so so sturdy and check out these cute little ears getting married I wear ears to do my makeup to hold my hair out of my face so I thought those ones were perfect to take for the occasion makeup is packed
here's all my toiletries this is how I have found that works best for me I've done toiletries in many different ways but this one you just open it all up you hang it up when you get there and then you can see everything so I have like all the little hair accessories that I might wear and this section is hair shampoo and conditioner I have a mini brush I have hair cream so I use like a big hair cream so this is when you would put it in like a smaller bottle and put a label on it but then the small bottles I love to take even though I'm gonna put this in my checked bag the smaller things you bring then the more you can take so I just have hairspray and then I use these little compartments for like my bobby pins and hair ties these are like from Michaels I also do that with q-tips and cotton balls and then in here I have like my body stuff my toner my face wash my moisturizer and then have you guys ever seen this poopery cuz then you won't have a stinky bathroom you can spray it and then this is just like my shaver toothpaste I'll take my toothbrush separately because it doesn't fit in here as well as my soap and my loofah well maybe I could squeeze my loofah in here somewhere and then you zip it all up and you can fold it in okay so now we're gonna pack the clothes these are the shoes that I think I'm gonna take I feel like I don't need that many, so let's figure it out. I'm going to wear these slides on the airport. Look at how cute they are. Can you see? Seriously, how cute they are? Okay, so I'm going to wear those on the airport. Maybe I can pack the rest, so especially since they're like flip-flops. They might all fit. The best thing to do when you're packing clothes is to kind of go through your closet, pile it all up, see kind of what you think you're going to take, and then go through it and see if you really need all of it or maybe it all can fit. So I have like a pile here of stuff. I kind of already packed my bras and my chones. And I always like to put socks under the bras so then the bras don't get smashed. That's a little packing tip. So I'm going to start making some outfits. Kind of, I know we're going to go to brunch. I know I'm going to need a lot of bikinis and swimsuits so I'm gonna plan some outfits and then I'll show you how I use all these little packing cubes to pack all my stuff okay so I've planned a few outfits so I have this yellow dress with that bucket hat cute little space bucket hat with white sneakers is such a vibe I also have this skirt and bodysuit that I could wear with sneakers or with like heels if you want to wear it at night so that's versatile and then I know I'm gonna wear a white dress and heels one night so I might wear like red and white with red lipstick oh cute cute I also have just like some one pieces some dresses that don't need like a matching top or whatever and then I have like some shorts and some tops these are like some really beachy cute like flare pants I don't know if I need this satchel or not I probably will take it because it's white and it goes with anything could wear it like with one of these outfits would be super cute and then I have some pajamas and just like some chillin t-shirts bike shorts that I'm gonna take look at this one it says getting hitched cute and then I decided I'm going to bring all the sandals. I think they can fit. I usually pack shoes in these like dust bags because if your shoes are dirty, they don't get your clothes dirty. I'm going to pack my slippers, my speaker, these koozies. This is really cool because you can put your phone in it to go on like the jet ski or whatever. So let me show you how we pack in packing cubes. You are going to be amazed how much clothes fits in these packing cubes you can bring I can bring all this it's gonna work watch we're gonna put all of these bikinis in this tiny little packing cube I know it's crazy but that's how you save space so look at that Okay, and then I'm going, so all the bikinis are in here, and then these are just like little wraps that you wrap around your swimsuit. 
or whatever. So I'm gonna put those in there too, some little cover-ups. here all the bikinis fit in this little cube so then you play Tetris in the suitcase to fit everything now let's do the shirts all the little tops and shorts in one cube these will be like stuff that needs a matching partner and then I'll do like the the dresses and the one pieces in its own packing cube by the way, look at this shirt. Is that not like the cutest little shirt? So I'm gonna bring a pair of jeans cause that could be so cute with like a pair of jeans. Even jean shorts, I guess. Space in here. We can fit probably some koozies. Because why not? <laughs> okay, so in this like second biggest packing cube, I'm gonna put all of my dresses. And this isn't like a dress, but it's a pair, so I don't want to mix it up with anything else. So I'm gonna add it in here also. packing cube left it's the last one so let's see if we can make like all the chillin outfits fit in there look at this cute shirt I got this at funky bunk shout out to funky bunk my clients own it a mother and a daughter and they are so adorable shorts bike shorts we're gonna fit them all in here it's gonna work there we have it so let's play some Tetris let's fit the clothes on this side Trust me, it will fit. Hmm. I don't want my sunglasses to get stolen or smashed, so I'm going to take those in my backpack also. And I don't know why I need so many, but I do. In this dust bag, I'm going to put some heels. Okay, I've got heels right there. Sneakers. I got this tiny flat iron. 
I've always been taught to pack a sun hat, you pack it upside down in the luggage and then you can fit stuff inside of it. I'm gonna put the little blow dryer in there, my toothbrush, and then in these little pouches, I always like to put sandals in there because if they're dirty, also they won't get anything else dirty. And then these little sandals here. I always, always like to take baby wipes. And then I think I can fit this little purse right here. See, it's like Tetris. And then you zip up this little side. You strap it together like so. And then, look at that. She closes. So we have the suitcase, the carry-on, which is heavy, and the personal bag. And then I'll take my water bottle and my little pillow, and we'd be good to go. I'm gonna use this little guy to see how much my suitcase weighs. You don't wanna be that person in the airport that has to hold up the whole line because their suitcase is too heavy. Okay, so we're just gonna take it to zero. So you just hook it on the suitcase and then you pick it up to see how much it weighs. 34 pounds. Perfect. Still room to bring stuff back. So that's the key to my packing. Thank you for watching my packing video. P.S. Since Southwest lets you have two suitcases, I honestly might pack a second suitcase. A ring light and like some decorations and this that I have, maybe a tripod. And I know some of the girls had like some stuff they want to bring. I might bring some groceries also. So I might take a second bag, FYI, but I don't know. Okay, love you, bye.